So hello everybody, today I will uh, introduce you to something very interesting. Today we're gonna visit the 1245 Mogilov Yampels fortified area, uh, city Mogilov Podolsky, which is in Minitsa region. And uh, it's a quite interesting place. Uh, it's a former bunker uh, which held almost over 20 days the positions against the Germans uh, during Operation Barbarossa. Uh, here uh, we have an interesting, uh, how to say, uh, yeah, show some information that uh, from the 17th to the 19th of July 41 on uh, the 12th uh, Mogilov uh, Yampel uh, fortified uh, area was staying to the death. Uh, well, they stopped the Germans um, and over 5,000 um, that people not here in Bur uh, not in Mogilov, but around the entire fortified area. And uh, 912 uh, defenders died. And uh, yeah, the garrison 100 uh, number uh, a garrison uh, bunker number 112 uh, destroyed over uh, 500 German soldiers, and they died uh, died here as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and um, it's a quite, it's not a quite, it's a very interesting place to visit, especially uh, for historical buffs. So I just wanted to do this video for a while and thought myself, yeah, just gonna visit the city and just uh, show you a little bit around. Now here, it's a, uh, it's sad that these kind of places currently in Ukraine are not looked after. Uh, we, with my parents, actually visit this place, cleaned out a little bit. You know, here it used to be the fire, the internal flame. Here, order of the Great Patriotic War. Here, unknown. Here we have a lot of names soldiers who died here as far as I can see it's very interesting when they um, found the bodies in the bunker they could just un identify certain letters of the soldier and uh, uh, the military ID so couldn't identify 100% everything here Bilenki Dmitry Ivanovich lieutenant commander uh, born 1913 uh, village Anopol, Tul region, Vinitsa region, or Tul area, uh, Vinitsa region. Here, Ivasishin Vladimir Kondratyevich, Red Army man, commander, uh, or part, born 1913 in Mohilov Podolsky, Vinitsa area, unknown soldier. Just the name Peter Krasnarmeets. So, just when they found the ID, they probably could I just identify his first name. And Abritka Avram Davidovich, Lieutenant Commandant, Commandant of the 112 uh, fortified uh, bunker here, born 1944, uh, village Capello in Zhidovsky Rion, Kiev uh, region. Quite interesting internal glory to the heroes uh, died during the war or for the independence of the homeland. Uh, put a cup or a glass with vodka and black bread, which is a very common thing back in the days. Um, here we have at, 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 as well a very interesting flag. It says Bismarck Harizon. Um, uh, number 112 uh, so this is the immortal garrison 112 12th uh, uh, fortified area uh, the soldiers were fighting from the 7th up till the 28th of July 1941 and uh, the soldiers did not retreat they actually stayed here forever so we're just gonna go now to the most interesting part it's actually, everything is very interesting, but this part will be 
uh, very, how to say, it's an emotional place. I can tell that because it is uh, just thinking of that soldiers were fighting here until the death. And the story behind it is that by the end of the storm of this bunker, uh, the Germans actually pulled in concrete and gas. So basically the soldiers there were in cemented into the bunker itself and certain parts were opened up. So this was actually blown up. As you can see, you have the original stairs. Here's the entrance, which is unfortunately sealed due to security reasons, but the bunker itself is in good condition. But unfortunately, we're not able to get in. See, here, concrete. Here we had a, um, there was a light cannon thing here. So the position was quite interesting. So this is the bunker itself. Oh, quite interesting as well here. Yes, it's everything. Here's the bunker. You can see the holes in them. So battles were going on, you can see it here as well. And it's just dried. So this is actually number 112, bunker 112 of the 12th 45th Mogilov Yampol or fortified area. So we'll just go down again. Everybody I, I have some materials regarding that. I found a lot of German uh, magazines and uh, newspapers uh, which were dedicated to this bunker and especially the Dniester area of the battles. And uh, I will post more and more stuff. So I, everybody, I, I would like to keep it very unpolitical, but uh, eight, 9th May is the day of remembrance of the Second World War and uh, I would say thank you to all they will not hear me probably they will but say thanks to those who made the ultimate sacrifice during the Great Patriotic War thank you don't forget to subscribe leave a comment and yeah if you have questions just ask I wish you all guys a nice weekend